If you had asked me whether I would have taken a point before Manchester United play Liverpool at Anfield on Saturday, I would have said yes. And so would the majority of United fans. Well, at least I think so. But I'm seeing so many United fans pretty pissed off and pretty angry about what we saw for the second year in a row at Anfield. And it's kind of got my back up. I can understand some frustrations with how Manchester United played against Liverpool. We didn't have many opportunities. Romelu Lukaku had our only clear-cut opportunity and he missed it. And yes, we were very defensive in the second half. But I understood the decisions that Jose Mourinho made. And I'm seeing him get a lot of personal stick. I'm not seeing too much stick for how the players played themselves. And I just think a lot of it is unwarranted because Man United drawing at Anfield, getting a point at Anfield, is not a bad result. And it's, as I said, it's kind of pissed me off. For me, this looked like a game between two teams who were too scared to lose. On the one hand, Jurgen Klopp at home. One win in eight he now has. Mr. Media-friendly Jurgen Klopp getting zero criticism after a game in which he refused to take off one of his three central midfielders to throw on another attacker. But it's only Jose Mourinho who is playing park the bus football. It's only Jose Mourinho who is scared to lose the game. Now, Jose Mourinho has been talking after the game, obviously. And what has become clear is that he was waiting for Liverpool to change. He was waiting for Liverpool to take off one of those central midfielders to then put on another attacker to expose more space in the middle, which hopefully Jesse Lingard and Marcus Rashford could have exposed. That space never came. And Manchester United setting up with a counter-attacking style is not new. If that's pissed you off against Liverpool, you must fucking hate how Man United have been playing all season, putting four past West Ham, putting four past Burton, Swansea, CSKA Moscow. We've been playing counter-attacking football all year, and it's been sexy. Some of the football we've played this season, some of the attacking football has been breathtaking. It just wasn't the case at Anfield. And it was the exact same last year when Ibrahimovic missed his header, Popper had a poor game, nil-nil, two nil-nils in a row at Anfield. It's not a coincidence. And it's not just because Jose Mourinho sets up with his defensive formation. Liverpool, yes, you're a much better attacking team, but both teams only had one clear-cut chance. Manchester United had Romelu Lukaku, and he missed. He hit it straight at a goalkeeper. Nine out of ten strikers, they're hopefully going to find the space. If all he needed to do was not hit it straight at Minile, it would have been a goal. Matip, on the other hand, outrageously good save by David De Gea. Nine out of ten goalkeepers don't make that save, but David De Gea does. But I just can't understand how everybody is pointing the finger at Manchester United and Jose Mourinho for a game in which there were only two clear-cut chances, and one of them came from each team. So I really don't understand everybody going absolutely mad at how Jose Mourinho set up his Manchester United team to play against Liverpool at Anfield. And I completely understood the team selection as well. It was a slight surprise to see Ashley Young start on the right wing, but for me, it really looked like Jose Mourinho was making his team have the ability to switch to a 3-5-2 without having to make a substitute if we scored. Because if Lukaku had scored that goal, I think we would have seen Young at left wing back, Antonio Valencia at right wing back, with Damian, Smalling and Jones in a 3-5-2 like we did away at CSKA Moscow. Because at that point, Liverpool would have had to have opened up. Spaces would have been there and we would have been able to hit it hard on the counter-attack. Counter-attacking football is my favourite type of football. So I, I love seeing Man United play in that. But we didn't have the opportunities against Liverpool. That's not just down to Jose Mourinho's team selection and his tactics. It's down to the personnel as well. They could have all played better. And nobody can argue against that. So as I said, I'm pretty, not angry, but I'm just frustrated with everybody getting angry and frustrated towards Jose Mourinho and Manchester United for this team. If you're unhappy with a point at Anfield, Really? Anfield is Manchester United's hardest game of the year. I'd take a draw every single season if it meant Manchester United never lost at Anfield in the Premier League. And it's Mourinho. You know he's going to set up like this in the big games. One thing Mourinho has to improve is our performances in terms of the results in these big games. Because last year, we drew away at Liverpool and City. We drew, I think that was it, we drew away at those two. And we lost to Arsenal, we lost to Spurs and we lost to Chelsea. So that's obviously got to improve. But seeing Manchester United play a defensive formation at Anfield is nothing fucking new. So stop being angry towards the result. Stop trying to overanalyze. It's the first game this season that Manchester United have failed to score in. We're second in the league at the moment. Things are going well. 
but we just didn't beat Liverpool at Anfield. It's not the end of the fucking world. It's one point gained. And I'm sorry if we didn't have any live reaction after the game on Saturday because something happened on the channel. There was a copyright strike, which we've got sorted. Uh, but that was the reason there's no live reaction. It's the reason why I wanted to do this video as well. And I want to hear your thoughts because clearly this is going to be a divisive video and not everyone's going to agree with me. But let me know your comments below as always. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to United People's TV. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.